bag. So I just went to the grocery store and in two bags I have some things um, to help you do sort of a Thanksgiving college dorm thing. You can do this on a hot plate, you can do this in a microwave. It's going to be super, super, super easy to do and it's totally going to go with college, high school, whatever. Um, so if you are on a budget or you're away from home, I think this is going to be super friendly for you. So we're going to start off making a vegan version of Ultimate Party Meatballs. You can actually find the recipe on the back of Heinz containers. So what you need is a 14 ounce can of Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce, but you also need this 12 ounce bottle of Heinz Chili Sauce, and then it calls for a 2 pound bag of frozen pre-cooked cocktail size meatballs. Because this is vegan, we will not be using meatballs. We're actually going to be using Smart Ground Mexican style seasoned veggie protein crumbles, and it is certified vegan. For your reference, there is no animal byproducts in the Heinz. And there are no animal byproducts in the cranberry sauce. Okay, so let's just get started on this. Um, particular portion of doing the ultimate party meatballs and then we'll continue on with the rest of the meal because I'm going to do a full meal not just the appetizer. Make sure that you use the accurate cooking spray. This is a vegetable oil cooking spray and those are the ingredients. And right here where it says allergens that's often where you can find um, animal byproducts and whatnot, and they're usually kind of have a at-risk in front. Now I just put the Light Life Smart Grounds Mexican Style Veggie Beef, which is vegan, and I chopped it up for you guys, and that's just sizzling on the pan. You can microwave this. This is up to you. Um, um, so I'm just going to do it in a saucepan, just because of... Um, how it asks to be cooked according to the cans. You can always use a hot plate also. Now I just added the whole cranberry sauce to um, it and I just mixed it right in. Uh, I just added the whole can. You don't have to add the whole bottle of the Heinz chili sauce because we're not doing a separate uh, sauce and we're not doing a two pound bag of meatballs either. So you can modify it from here. And just add accordingly. There's the Heinz chili sauce. It's up to you if you don't want to eat high fructose corn syrup. I understand. It's okay. I'm just kind of sh trying to show um, something that's easy to make for college kids. And I added that all these all the sauces into the veggie protein um, midway through cooking because I don't want the veggie protein to get overcooked so it can start heating up. Because we're not doing real meat, we don't have to worry about any contamination or raw, raw this and raw that. Plus it adds a little bit of spice. If you like spice, this is for you. I'm gonna take the Rosarita Vegetarian Refried Beans. And this has excellent source of fiber. And I'll show you the ingredients. adds a trivial amount of fat, not contains. I'm going to take Holy Guacamole America's number one spicy uh, guacamole and I'll show you the ingredients and it is gluten free. And we're just going to open it and put it in a bowl. So it's in the dish and now I'm just going to take a couple lemon pieces that I had previously cut up and we're going to squirt that on top and the reason I'm going to do that um, is because it's going to keep the avocado from getting brown. That's just kind of my fun little trick. Alright, so 
So there's the tortilla. I just warmed it up. It's super hot and fresh. Now I'm going to be taking some of the vegetarian refried beans. And we just scoop that on the plate. If you don't have a dishwasher, that's kind of why I have some disposable spoons and plates out here. Oh wait, don't I always? And then um, we're just going to take a little bit of the Thanksgiving inspired fake meat and putting it on the burrito. If you get Boca crumbles, I don't think that they're vegan, so that's why I use the Light Life a lot. It's a little cheaper than Guardian. Also great for college students. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking the baby spinach, because these are just gorgeous, yummy, delicious, fresh spinach leaves. Now I'm going to be taking the fake, or not the fake, this is actually real avocado. The real, the real guacamole. And then we're just going to try to center it into the middle of the burrito. And I'm going to be taking Some too fruity better than sour cream, which is lactose free, dairy free, all that stuff. The Tofuti brand is great because it's vegan. And we're just going to place that. So we're gonna have to get our fingers in. Place that in the center of the burrito. I know burritos aren't typically um, typically Thanksgiving food whatsoever, but I'm just trying to show you sort of a college life inspired way of doing a Thanksgiving meal, or if you live on your own and you have no one to cook for and enjoy the feast. And we're just gonna roll that up. and remove all the ingredients. We're just gonna enjoy those with a spoon because they I put way too much stuff in there. It actually looks really good though. This is up to you. This is quite an addition, but I have a great ripe avocado in my refrigerator. I'm just assessing my supplies. And we're just gonna take the avocado. And remove the pit. That one came out rather easily. And we're just going to sort of hatch it and go around the rind and place that right on top. Oop, right on top. And this is your omega 3, your fatty acid, your protein. Just enjoy it, scoop it all out. So that's it up close. The majority of the accoutrements are inside of the burrito, so just enjoy it. If this is not enough food, you can have more than one or develop some sort of side dish. So that is my kind of college dorm kind of idea. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.